This is J.C. DeLass with this week's Fidelis Care Coaches Corner, and our guest this week is Mike Henschen, the head coach of track and field and cross-country programs at St. John Fisher College. Coach, you pretty much started up the track and field programs from scratch here at St. John Fisher. What are some of the challenges you've had to, to get that program up and running? Well, of course, the first, uh, the first challenge was getting some bodies in here. Uh, you know, so that, um, that was a pretty big challenge. Started off kind of slow, uh, but within uh, two years on the track program, we were up to, you know, 60 to 65 athletes, which was great. Um, once we got that accomplished, then of course we started to really work on making sure that we had the quality that we wanted uh, for the athletes that were coming in. You've got a beautiful facility on campus, the Policini Track and Field Complex. How much does that help you, especially in recruiting the student athletes? Oh, it's a it's a tremendous help. I mean, the resources here at Fisher are just amazing. You know, so three and a half million dollar facility, uh, track and field complex. Uh, plus, this past year we just uh, inherited the old golf course, so that's now our cross country training area, one of the prettiest uh, ex uh, cross country areas that you'll actually see. The throws area is over there. That's a beautiful area also. So. Uh, top-notch facilities really really helps the recruiting effort. I would imagine all of the different things that are happening here on this campus are a great selling point for you too when you're talking to kids to get them excited about coming to St. John Fisher. Oh absolutely I mean you know it's a wide range of things it's pretty interesting you know our motto in the athletic department is is good smart and talented so you know when we look at all the good things we do the Teddy dance for to help uh, Camp Good Days uh, then, of course, the Buffalo Bills here in the summertime, that's a huge draw for us. And it really gets, it really gets the community, not only from this area, but also, you know, Buffalo, Syracuse, Albany, giving them a look at what we have to offer in the, in the way of resources and facilities. It seems to me runners in particular are very self-motivated. It's kind of a self-motivating sport, if you will. Do you help them to achieve their goals? Is that something that you you look to kind of fine-tune their mental approach as much as what they can do physically? Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, from a, especially when we're talking about mid-distance and distance athletes, you know, the mental prep and the mental execution is really about 70% of the whole process. Um, they are self-motivated. They're very self-disciplined. Uh, which is great because that also ends up uh, resulting in some pretty smart kids. They're pretty talented when it comes to academics. Uh, and that, of course, remains our, our number one priority here. Your program, very young, but it continues to grow. How important is it to get that support from not just the athletic department, but the college as a whole? Oh, it's, it's, um, it's extremely critical. I mean, when we look at, uh, we just went over our schedule for this coming year, and to, to be able to get our our top-notch athletes to unbelievably good uh, competitions. We'll be racing at Boston. We'll be racing at William and Mary down south, uh, and that support from the campus is is critical in making sure that we continue to not only draw tremendous athletes here, but also to uh, to continue our our run. We've uh, had a consecutive run of uh, six All-American. Uh, through the last uh, uh, few sports seasons, so we're pretty excited about that. Thanks for joining us, Coach. You bet. And thank you for watching this week's Fidelis Care Coaches Corner.